Okay, welcome back to creating a cryptocurrency in Python. This is part nine of the series. We're almost done. In the last video, we looked at finishing our login and logout pages, as well as defining a wrap uh, to check if the user is logged in when they're accessing certain pages. So in this video, we're going to finally implement our blockchain into the whole thing. This file we created a long time ago and we are going to start our transactions. So we're gonna open up the SQL helpers file and we're going to create a new method to get the blockchain from our MySQL. So let's call that method get underscore blockchain. And we will create a new instance of our blockchain which we actually have to import at the top here. So let's import from blockchain, import block and blockchain like that. And we will create an instance of our blockchain class. And then we will create an instance of our table class to access the blockchain. So blockchain underscore SQL, and we will access the table called blockchain which has the columns, number, hash, previous hash, um, data, and nuance. Now we will loop through all of the data in the blockchain, which is going to be using our dict cursor. So for B and blockchain, underscore sql dot get all we will add to our blockchain here blockchain dot add and we actually want to add this block um the exact way it is found in the sql so the problem is when we defined our blockchain our add function only lets us um add a block and our block um, can only be created with uh, data and its block number. So we actually want to be able to create a block um, with all of the data in the block and not just generate the block itself. So we're going to change this here and we're going to remove these variables and we're actually going to put them into the dunder init function or the constructor class of the block. So we're going to say number equals zero, that is fine. And we're gonna say previous underscore hash is equal to zero times 64. Our data will assume to be none and our nuance to be zero. And then we'll have to insert those into here. So our self dot previous underscore hash is equal to previous underscore hash and our self dot nuance is equal to nuance so we'll save that and then the other thing we'll do is we'll um every time we create an instance of our blockchain class we will restart the chain so i'm going to remove this parameter and i'm just going to say self dot chain equals an empty list like that now if we go back over to our sql helpers file we can now say blockchain.add and we'll create a new block with all of the data inside of that block in the MySQL. So we'll, we'll put in an integer of b.get the block number. Then we will put, sorry. Just had to find where the brackets were there. Then we will get the previous hash. And the reason why we're not getting the actual hash is because we can just call the hash function inside of the block class itself and not really worry about that. Then we will get the data. And then we'll take an integer of the nuance. So what we just did here is we accessed our blockchain MySQL from here. So say it looked something like this, we would add, and don't worry, we haven't, we haven't gotten here yet. We would add um, 
all of this data here, so the number, the previous hash, the data, and the nuance from the MySQL, which is in the dictionary format, to an actual instance of the block class and put that in an instance of the blockchain class. Cool. Now we'll just simply return this blockchain. Perfect. Now we can create a function to sort of sync the blockchain. So once we get the blockchain, we might manipulate it, add new blocks, transactions. We want to update it inside of the MySQL. So let's create a method called sync underscore blockchain. And that will take in a parameter of an instance of the blockchain class. Then once again, we will have to initialize our blockchain underscore SQL. And then what we want to do is we want to actually delete all of the data in that table. So we don't have a function for that. So let's create a function in our table class called delete all. So we can delete everything inside of that table without actually deleting the table itself, unlike the drop method, which is going to remove everything. We just want to remove all of the data inside of it. So let's call it delete all self. And then we can just drop the table and then we want to recreate the table. So we'll call the functions constructor. So we'll call self dot under init self dot table. And then we'll insert the columns list as arguments using the star. So self dot columns list. So then we're going to call the functions constructor and recreate the class. So now down here, we can delete all of the data in the table, and then we're going to reinsert it with the updated blockchain. So we can call delete all. Then we're going to loop through each block in the blockchain chain. And we're going to add that block to the blockchain underscore SQL. So blockchain underscore SQL dot insert. And then we want a string of the block the number because that is an integer at the moment. We want the blocks hash. And we want the previous hash. And we want the data of the block and the nuance of the block. And that's, uh, that's it. So we have a method to get the blockchain and then one to sync the blockchain with the new data. Okay, so we can test this in a way. If you remember, we made uh, our test of the blockchain before where we just put in the simple data, hello, goodbye, test data here. Uh, we can try and do this. So let's copy this. Um, yeah, let's copy this into our file here. And I'll just create a little method test blockchain and we'll delete this later. So I'm going to put that in there. And then we'll just sync the blockchain in our MySQL with this kind of test blockchain here. So let's sync blockchain, blockchain. And I'll make this block say num equals num. OK, now we'll go in our app file. Let's just put on our index test underscore blockchain. Hopefully this works. And then we will refresh our main page. Okay, blockchain underscore. It looks like I misspelled something here. Block, oh, right here. I misspelled something. Okay, let's try it again. Table object has no delete all. Oh, we did not just create our delete all. Oh. Ah, we did, but we <laughs> spelt it wrong again. Okay, here we go. Hmm. 
Okay, and let's see if that works by running select all from blockchain and see if our data was indeed enter entered into the MySQL table. And it was, so we have our number block one, two, three, four, has a hash, has a previous hash, hello, and our nuance. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. So let's remove this data from the table because uh, from the blockchain because we don't actually really want that there. So I'm just gonna call, um, I'm just going to copy this here. I'm going to print delete all. So if we refresh, it should just delete everything from that table. Yep, and we've deleted everything from the blockchain. So let's remove this test blockchain because it looks like our blockchain is working very well right now. And now let's define what it's going to be sending money to another user and also getting our balance. So the way we could do that is we could um, put that in the data of each block so maybe one user sends money to another and then we're able to access how much money was sent where and if we track all of it we can find the balances so we'll work on that in the next video so i'll see you then